and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mothers Tiana. That's right, we're playing War Mothers Call Ramp deck where we're going really big, going War Mothers with Demacia. And what we got with Demacia is Tiana Crown Guard. All right, so let's kind of take a look at the deck. So we have, uh, we're, we're ramping. Like that's, that's what we're trying to do. And not only using Catalyst of Aeons to ramp, but we're also using another spell to ramp. We got Mobilize. Three of these um, reduce the cost of our allies at hand by one. So we can, you know, we can uh, use Mobilize. On turn two even, we can cast this because of the spell mana to reduce the cost of all of our allies. Um, and then we have, uh, like, as far as what we're ramping into, like, we're trying to get, like, Averroes and Hearthguard, of course, grant our stuff, uh, make our stuff larger. Uh, but then we got a bunch of five fives. We got Garen's, Radiant Guardians, and Swiftwing Lancer. All three of these five, five, five mana five fives are just awesome. And so, you know, making them cheaper with the Mobilize. Um, and the reason why, like, five fives are so important, I see Eddie's a five five, um, is because we are actually ramping all the way up to She Who Wanders at the top end. Now, She Who Wanders is a play trigger, so it's not, um, you know, it doesn't work if you summon from War Mother's Call, but it's just so incredibly powerful. So it obliterates all followers with four or less power in play and in hands. Like our first time playing She Who Wanders and Tiana and, and Mobilize. This will be fun. All right, so we're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Let's see. Let's get... Um... I guess Poro, you're the Frostbite one. We'll get a Poro. We'll stay with the Hall of Valor. Actually, ooh, that was close. No, let's go to the, the Iceborne Peak. All right. So here we go. Let's get some huge creatures. And War Mother's Call, help us out, help bring them into play. Every turn, we want to hit Tiana on our opponent's turn, so we get to rally. We're obviously a pretty slow deck, so facing another slow deck is not bad. Uh, this is going to be something like if they have their champion on turn 5, you know, especially Heimerdinger on turn 5, and start going crazy with Heimerdinger. That's going to be trouble. So, there's no ramp in the hand. Like, we need ramp. Right, like that's that's what we want. Like Callus of Aeons in particular. I just really like Hearthguard, but I probably should have just mulliganed the Hearthguard too, since we didn't have any ramp. Ooh, but now we do. Now we got some ramp. Wow, did you see that? See the okay, so I could have played Mobilize right here. Excuse me? But I feel like Oh. Uh, no. Well now we have that. I feel like playing it on turn three is okay, because then we play it on turn three, and uh, now turn four we'll be able to go Hearthguard or Garen. And so I want to give myself some, some more opportunity to draw some expensive units for that. So obviously now I want to play Catalyst, but I don't think we're supposed to. I think we're supposed to just drop these things. Um... They're gonna let that thing be elusive. Hmm. So Hearthguard or Garen? We fight for one Freljord. Yeah, I mean, we we may struggle against deny, but that's just a couple of our top end cards are you know can get countered by deny. But as you can see, like we we have a ton of awesome things that we can kind of play besides uh, besides uh, relying on deny. Or like relying on cards that get denied. You won't believe what Pulsies throw away. So definitely want to get rid of this thing. This is a cool combo that I haven't seen really before. So this thing makes a Sumpworks map to grant something elusive, and you grant you grant the Mariner elusive, because then whenever it attacks, you support and you make something else elusive also. 
That's a really cool combo. Ooh, it's a Midden Stoke Henchman deck. That is awesome. Alright, if I cast this, I'm gonna have four mana. I'll have four mana for Silverwing Vanguard also. So I was kind of planning on going Avalanche first and then Vanguard afterwards, and then having the Vanguard take out both of these henchmen. That would basically just clear up the whole board if I do that, because uh, like if we trade here, trade here. That's okay. That's okay. Could also just play Radiant Guardian. Do that. Do do do. Think that's greedy. So three, six, ten. This thing is four or less power. And it's only followers. It's not champions. Like, she who wanders does not kill Heimerdinger. Pretty sweet. The mobilize has been better than I expected. The only holiday with celebrating. It works. Oh, it works. So my option is play She Who Wanders. It gets rid of my Vanguard Squire, but then could also maybe get rid of some of their stuff, and it destroys the floor be gone. And then it's bigger than the 10-10. Or we go Hearthguard and Garen and Squire. We can play all of those this turn. We should probably just play the 10-10. Alright. 10-10. Because like this would cost zero after we play Garen, so we could have gone Hearthguard and Garen and Squire. But then you know like the 8-8's eight there. Alright, we only got rid of one card from their hand. So it definitely feels like they're going to use removal. Oh no, give that thing plus four, plus zero, and quick attack. Oh gosh, that's so much worse for me. That's so much worse for me. I, I honestly don't really think that my opponent has deny to, 
to be honest. Hmm. That thing has elusive? I don't think I ever really realized, like, just looking at this card, I don't think I ever really realized this thing had elusive. Well, that's pretty good. Quick attack card. That hurt. What I find, I keep. Our strength is yours. Yeah, they got it. All elusive. That was a pretty sweet deck from the opponent. GG's. That was a pretty sweet deck. Just doing the 20 damage in one turn there. All sorts of elusive stuff. With... Like, opponent's deck is going to really, really struggle against aggro. But there's not... There's really not much aggro these days. And so that... That looked pretty good. It's basically a PNZ Tribal. Or like, you know, like a PNZ Allegiance deck. That was cool. Alright, definitely Catalysting. I think we'll keep Hearthguard too. We can have turn 3 Catalyst, turn 4 Hearthguard. Um, and then I guess turn five another hearth guard. Give all of our creatures plus two plus two in our deck. All the world on one arrow. The war mother will unite us all. Ow. Hmm. Maybe I just play the Lancer here to try to take it down, Ash. That turns on Brittle Steel now. That worked out great. I see Eddie would be good. Frostbite both of those. Garen would be good. Because Garen's great. 
Hearth card would be good to get those going. All, all those options are good. Um, yeah, every every option is good. I'm gonna play one of the five drops to, to try to bank two mana towards War Mother's Call. What's up, Blade? What's up, Happy Sunday. Uh, now I wish I would've played Hearth Guard. Got a bigger Vanguards. All right, if I play Vanguard, I can also play Catalyst. But then next turn I'll have 11 mana. Won't have enough to play War Mother's Call next turn. Well, I'm gonna play this. It's possible I just don't play anything else. Because, yeah, if I play Catalyst, I'll have 11 mana next turn. If I play nothing, I'll have 12. 12 mana next turn. So if I play nothing, I can War Mother's Call next turn. Alright, so with Ash leveling up, they're going to play Crystal Arrow. And in that case, I may need to play Icy Yeti next turn. Which means that playing Catalyst of Aeons would be my best play this turn. Yeah, because that's 12... I should I should just play Catalyst and then Yeti and then call call in turn. One candle for every. They had an Ash die. When do they have an Ash die? What? What? Fima. Oh, that's right, the single combat. I forgot about that. Yeah, full release hype on yeah, basically it'll be twenty the twenty eighth it will be fully released on PC, but they're saying that it may take mobile another two days and so but like by the 30th for sure like mobile will be working everywhere and everything but but yeah 28th it's supposed to be when it should start so my so basically my best play was to avalanche and then icy yeti because then these would have been frostbitten also but the problem is i couldn't i can't play like if i play avalanche then they kill me i guess if i'm just playing this they kill me also yeah, I'm just dead. And that Ash card's pretty good. No, so that, yeah, that means that we're going to get a new set. We're going to have... Um, 120 plus new cards and we're gonna have a new region 
and then yeah marketing and advertising on and um, and then it will be on mobile as well and then we're gonna have um, Karma Elise and then we'll have um, we'll have like ranked seasons which it looks like the seasons will be every two months uh, and you'll have ranked rewards so depending on how good you do it That's an egg. how much you rank up in, in two months uh, you'll get some kind of reward um, they haven't said what yet I must get out of here. and then ranks will kind of decay or reset some and Um, they haven't said anything about tournaments yet. I haven't, haven't said anything about tournaments yet, but, um, just that, you know, like, now that there's going to be, you know, ranked rewards and ranked seasons, that's, that's all I've said for now. Why do you feel that, you know, I say you're unmotivated to play ranked? What's, why do you feel you're unmotivated motivated to play ranked? In Avarosa's name. Mm. For justice. For democracy. Let's get Garen in play. I feel like I haven't been getting Garen in play enough. Okay, because you're already in Masters and, and you have all the cards. Gotcha. Stay resolute. Yeah, so on whenever whenever it releases on, on April in April twenty eighth. Uh, you know, like, you will get ranked down again. You rank down, everybody in Masters ranks down 800 League points. Or 8 levels, whatever. Whatever that means. I don't think it was worth it to skip attack that last turn because... Um, because Garen levels up after striking twice, and and Garen's level up is so valuable. I will play my so part. I don't think it was worth skipping attack that last turn. Obviously, I can single combat here to try to level up Garen, but they got a lot of mana. I'm not gonna just use it, and then they will of Ionia or something. see Ruination coming. Well, this would level up Garen and keep them from drawing two cards. So I think that's worth it. That's worth, you know, trying this, even though they could have, you know, whatever card to break this up. But at least we're... No matter what, we're countering the Glimpse Beyond, okay, or we just trade with it to deny.
Better for that to be denied than... Than, you know, something else that's more impactful later on. Gotcha. But yeah, hopefully, like, you know, after... Uh, you know, whenever the... Whenever it releases, hopefully that changes FEMA, how we'll have, like, the ranked seasons. And you'll lose the rank again, so you gotta rank back up to Masters. And there'll be 120 new cards. You cannot stall judgment. The order rewards its faith. to play I want to play she who wanders but it costs 10 and we have nine mana Night falls. yeah It says completely removed from the game, doesn't cause last breath, and can't be revived. So yeah, it would it would get rid of the immortal. Hopefully, they don't have another deny. Only one card in their hand? Dang. They did have Ruination, though. Well done. We at least got three elites for our trouble. They don't get any free cards with Karma, but their spells are doubled up. Okay, so they had a Frenzied Skitter. Bale Sight? That's pretty sweet. Bale Sight is the name of the skill. Tiana is a great draw. We can play this and rally and attack again. And then maybe level up Garen. <clears throat> and then on their turn, rally, attack again. Of course. Gotta be worried about more ruinations, I suppose. We gotta watch out for. So I can't really protect this, but I can single combat and try to kill Karma. Will be served. All 
I guess instead of Tiana, I'll play those two. Don't need to play anything else right now. Alright, this is only followers. Again, so it doesn't get rid of Elise. The onus is certainly on them to start doing something. By force of will. Act with conviction. See them having Withering Whale as far as playing the Vanguard goes. I smell a fight. Let's play Trindomir. over here one can do for every son I am spider these are dark openings so we get rid of the the, va the vanguard uh, they're gonna get rid of these two at minimum they may have more rekindler in hand Just those two, so not another rekindler in hand. It will all be over soon. Don't you think this thing should have like I don't know, overwhelm? Feels like this card should have overwhelm. Like you're telling me a little spider can like jump in front of this thing and it's like nope completely stopped no no damage overwhelms over come on give me a break that thing needs overwhelm all right ggs used to have regeneration in beta okay i i know yeah in the closed beta i remember people say that it got nerfed like twice yeah they who endure has it so she she who wanders definitely needs it ggs there we go we're we're getting there more mothers Diana. All right, it's Raven time. We hopefully need to not die to Ezreal. Right. Yeah, let us keep all of these. Let's see, they kill Silverwing Vanguard. Let's keep all of these. No, we don't, we don't need Trindamir. I don't know, seven mana Trindamir sounds pretty sweet. So basically, what I want here is I want uh, Radiant Guardian. Like, I think Radiant Guardian is going to be really good against them. Like, all their stuff is damage-based. So I, th I think Radiant Guardian is going to be pretty sweet. Um, but we need it to have the Lifesteal on top. So in order for it to have the Lifesteal on top, I'm keeping the Silverwing Vanguard. Normally, I'd be more getting the Silverwing Vanguard if it wasn't for that. 
Okay, so she she wanders used to also obliterate the champions and had regen. Gotcha. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. That sounds like a pretty good card. The problem, of course, is if they kill both of these before I play my Radiant Guardian. Which they did. And that was the problem there. Play that. I'm just gonna pass. <clears throat> so instead of playing mobilize right now, it's basically the same thing as playing it last turn, but I get a chance to see if if we would have drawn another unit. So basically I, I did I could have had one extra mana. We get the chance to see if we would have drawn another uh, you know unit to be to have the cost reduced of, but we didn't. All right, turn to mirror time. I need to get this Radiant Guardian in play, smell fight. but I need it to have life steal and tough. Next turn, I can basically manufacture that. I can play Swiftwing Lancer uh, and challenge the Chump Womp, and then also play Radiant Guardian. Put on me mask, scare me tail, stop the day. I think that's my plan. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, mobilize on turn two is never correct. Because instead you just bank the three mana and then you just play then you just have like the three mana. Yeah, you're right. Because you can always just have the ability to draw another unit. So, like, in, unless you can play the, you know, a zero mana unit and, you're and you really want that zero mana unit in play that turn. On that turn, too. Well, Vanguard Squire is not very good. We're never going to play this thing. It's probably just going to get obliterated. Oh, this is bad. Forgot about Noxion Guillotine. So now they can use some other burn spell to hit Radiant Guardian with, and then Noxion Guillotine and kill my Trindamir and my Radiant Guardian. Man, Noxion Guillotine could be brutal if they have it. I know, right? Why can't we obliterate Ezreal? Oh, yeah, that's what it's looking like. Oh, man, this can be brutal.
Maybe they won't have it. Maybe they're just hoping to draw it. Alright, well if they're gonna do this, we won't you know they won't have any scrap scuttlers to, to jump block with, so then we're going to because you know they they want to spend their extra three mana on this guillotine. So then we'll play the we'll play this She Who Wanders. Um, attack, put him down to five, Tiana, attack again. That's that's my plan. Killed. Like, why would killing the She Who Wanders be better than killing the Trindomir? Death itself can't stop me. Isn't it a, a ten? I don't know. Is it ten ten easier to deal with than a nine eight overwhelm? Fearsome. Oh, I guess they just have infinite Noxian guillotines. Must be nice. What a killer, this Noxian Guillotine. And the second one. So of course I can't play anything else this turn, because if I do, then they can just do one damage to it and then guillotine it. So I can't play anything else, so we'll just play this thing. Game three life. Usually that deck plays two guillotines, so I don't think they're going to have any more. So I think that's it for the guillotines. Alright, two pairs, Garen Kicker. Avalanche over Tiana. It's Draven time! It's worth playing Tiana instead of, you know, Garen or Avalanche. I think this is the best play. Obviously, the more things you have in play before you play Tiana, the better. But I think this is still the best play. They don't know what they're up against. Time for a true display of skill. Bleh. You are insignificant. This is going to hurt for you. If you could back it up, no, I'm pretty sure it's still bragging. Me. So we're likely dead. This puts us down to seven. That's five. That's three. That's one. So all they need is one spell. 
Yeah, we're dead. Noxion guillotines. Having two of them. You know, even, even if, like, with just the one guillotine, I still, you know, we we're still going to be fine because last turn we would have been able to attack and then play Tiana, attack again. Like, we were, we would have been great even with just one guillotine, but having two of them. Our deck doesn't feel bad. It feels it feels like it's a pretty decent deck, it, but it just you know, like we just haven't quite been getting the wins. We need ramp. That that dies to Avalanche. Keep playing more things that die to Avalanche. No, Warchefs. You're lame. Not dying to Avalanche. Can't fight on an empty stomach. So I passed because if they if they played another thing that died to Avalanche, then I'd play Avalanche. Don't get in my way. If they didn't, I still had the mana to mobilize plus Hearthguard or Garen the pre this turn. Garen. Soldiers, to me. Charge! The deck usually has like what, like one deny in it. What's the plan? Pretty great time for one deny. Missed your chance to run. Eat up, friend. Stand and defend. Um, ready the torches. I say I need this to work. I can't handle any other tricks. This fight. 
They're saying that's game. Is that even game? We must not relent. I don't think that's game, right? I just have to jump walk with Garen again. Game's not over. Unless they play like something else. No, of course they have something else. Uh, we were still going to lose that anyway. The deny on the avalanche. Alright, well our War Mother's Tiana deck didn't perform super well. But I don't know. I think I think there's I think there's definitely something here. I don't I don't necessarily think that our deck's too bad, but um, yeah, that I mean that last hand was incredible. Like my my opponent had everything with the hand to deny. Like uh, our deck's certainly very slow, and we're not going to be able to handle that kind of stuff. But to be honest, I don't I don't think there's really any deck that would have beaten that like my last opponent's hand. Just some of those other games were disappointing um, to lose. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, we never cast War Mother's Call a single time. That's probably not a good thing. It's probably a card we want to be casting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't think I don't think this deck's unplayable. Or I, you know, I don't think it's it's that bad. But you know, we just went one and four. It happens. All right. But anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave a comment of what you think of the deck. And if you try it out yourself, of course, I love the feedback. Always always love the feedback if if y'all are playing the deck that I have in the video and let me know how you do on it. Um, but anyway, that's it here for War Mother's Tiana. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.